next video. Well, it's here. You've all been asking for a tour of the inside of the ambulance, and I'm going to give you one. Uh, a lot of the reasons why I went to the ambulance was so I could do work inside and shoot videos inside and have meetings inside. And so I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show it all, the, all that I've got, my, the whole bloody truth about Bob inside my home. You've never seen inside my van that I lived in uh, after I was living in it, but you will inside here. Uh, I tend to be kind of a cluttered person. And uh, I'm certainly not a neat freak by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm generally, you know, uh, not like, you know, loving a lot of people in my home. So I've done something different. In fact, uh, I've been shooting videos and been and inside thousands and thousands of other vehicle homes. And I don't think I've ever seen anything exactly like this. It's fairly unique. Some of you won't like it. And you'll be quick to write in and tell me in the comments that you don't like it. And that's fine. I, if you don't like it, I understand. I really, really like it. It works so well for me. So um, you live the way you want to live your life, and I'll live the way I, my life the way I want to live it. And we'll get along really, really well. So come on inside, and let's see this very unusual uh, ambulance home. So right away, it doesn't look like an ambulance. I hope that was my goal. I didn't want to look like, I didn't want to live in a sterile, white, industrial home. It doesn't feel good to me. But neither did I want to rip it all out and build a nice home. So what do you do? You get one or the other. Either you put in the time and the work and the effort and the money to turn it into the, exactly the way you, home, you want it, or maybe... You put up curtains. And I remember the first time I said that to somebody, I, I, I had a friend in, you know, said, I think I might put up curtains. They all laughed, said that was funny. But, you know, I love them. You know, I sit here on the bed and work. And uh, when I look up at night when I'm working or during the day and I see this, it makes me really happy. I just, I can tell you every detail about this this uh, picture, because whenever I look up, something grabs my eye. In fact, there's a man right here. Uh, I'm too close, I don't think I can see it, but there's a picture of a man right here. Not only that, but right here, there's a road. And if you get close enough, you can see a, na a national forest sign. <laughs> and I look up and these things grab my eyes and I look at them for a bit and then I go back to work or watch a movie or read a book or whatever I'm doing. And I, you know, and I got this back one over here, and I really enjoy this scene with the deer and the bright colors. Uh, and so come on in, and let me show you the one that I like the most. Go ahead and come on in, and I'll show you this one. This is one I just, and of course I'm sitting on the bed. I work sitting on the bed, so uh, I don't get to see it much. But boy, I love that. <laughs> that just makes me happy. Um, this is actually two different. This one didn't cover that whole wall, so this is a separate one. But it actually kind of looks pretty good there, I think. So let me show you how I work. This is how I work all the time. I will usually have an, a laptop or an iPhone, and I keep a... Um, and this is full of uh, just extra stuff. Uh, cold weather clothes or cold weather... We turned real cold on us all of a sudden. So I've got out a lot of my cold weather stuff now. But So this is how I work. You say, well, Bob, I don't, you got a desk. I created a desk. But this is how I work, because I knew, and I knew this would happen. So I just sit on the bed, and I don't want my knees to be hyperextended. So I put this under my knee. I've had this for at least 10 years. This thing is remarkable. And I got it at a garage sale. And so this is how I do 90% of my work, is just like this. I'll come in here. I'll, I'll answer emails. I'll do research for uh, videos. Uh, I run my empire, my great big cheap RV living empire from right here in just this way. So every time I look up, you know, I get, I pause or I break or I watch a video, you know, I watch a lot of videos in here too. Um, I, I see that and it just makes me so happy. I just really, really enjoy it. And uh, having all of it around really, I really, really like it. So that's why I did it. We'll open the curtains up and I'll let you see the whole home. It's very normal, average ambulance looking stuff. I did very, very little work in here. So let me show you what we did do. 
uh, put in this desk, and you're gonna wonder about this. This is very odd. This is how I will shoot videos. So these arms swing around. I've got a light on one. It's nothing set up right now. I can shoot outside, or I can shoot inside, or I can set up a tripod outside and shoot inside. So I wanna get a camera set up in here, get a, a monitor off of the camera so that I'm looking not at the tiny screen, but a great big monitor on another arm. I'll put a light on another arm and I can swing them away at any time and shoot outside. So to shoot a video, rather than go outside and set up, get everything set up, which takes me time, I'm gonna pull up somewhere I want to shoot, I'm gonna open the back door and I'm just gonna turn things on and I'm gonna start shooting right there at the back door. That's the ultimate goal. A plan that didn't happen is this bed. Uh, so this bed is very wide and I made it this wide so Cody could sleep on it. You know, my us dog lovers, we will sacrifice almost anything for our dogs. The reason it's this wide, it's real much wider than I want it to be, and it takes up a lot of space, is that uh, I wanted Cody to be able to sleep on it too. So I scrunch all the way up over, a, I got this enormous bed, and I scrunch up on the wall and Cody lays on this side. Uh, and not even all night, he starts, he starts on the bed with me, he gets on the floor for most of the night, and then he gets back up and he almost always is beside me when I wake up. So, um, and this drops, this actually drops about here and will drop down. And when I made it to drop down, I said to myself, I will never do that. I'll never drop this thing down. I'm just too lazy to, to tear this thing apart every day. And this drops down too. This is a, um, a leaf that will just drop down because I did want to leave it so that I could have a passway, passageway in and out of the back door. So that's about it. Really, I did very little building in here at all. So I'll just open it up and show you, you know, I won't keep everything a secret. And inside, it just looks like an ambulance. You know, this is, uh, I did quite a bit of studying on ambulance. And this is what they all look like. They all come with um, these doors. And this is all my clothes. Well, not quite this bag. These are my clothes and this bag is my clothes. And you can't see them because they're on the back wall behind there, but I got a books all across there and all across there. I'm a microwave guy. You guys all know that. I got a microwave here. Works great, really, really great. I'll do a whole video on my solar because I think it's worth a video. And you know, I got, you know, this is just the stuff of life. I got my water thing there. I got Cody's, uh, Bones here, you know, I got this stuff. Oh, don't look at the vanilla wafers. I like vanilla wafers. Um, you, sure, you weren't supposed to know that. Uh, it, it's just the stuff of life. I don't know what to sell, tell you. And this is really messy. So I definitely didn't want this exposed if I'm gonna shoot from down there here. I didn't, I couldn't figure out any way to get a closet. So I'm hanging some shirts. There's my trash. Um, and here is, uh, the stove, I got a fan. It would go back and forth here. It was really, really hot, so I was running a fan. Uh, I finally got a toaster. And you can't really see this, just more stuff. I like popcorn, so I keep a lot of popcorn on hand. Uh, and that's the, uh, this is actually the closet to the, um, the we'll, we'll, I'll go outside and show you the electrical closet here in a minute. And that's the electrical closet, so I can just reach in and to the electrical closet. Uh, this is, I've got a fridge here been hot so I've got my sun hat out and it's here I just throw it there because it's a handy place to have it uh, these this is a light I love I use that and at night it really throws a nice light right now I've got a my buckets down here because you got to put your bucket somewhere and I think I will probably put a curtain here and I just haven't gotten to it yet the small one and I, I have two fridges two of the 12 volt compressor fridges one down there and one down there, and that's not uh, turned out well. I thought I might turn one into a freezer. Um, I bought one and one was sent to me to test and I'm testing it. They work great, they all work great. I've been really happy with these cheap freezers, free, fridge freezers. Uh, so I think I might replace them both and get one big one and then I can save all that space back down there. I have Cody's water. I always keep a bucket of water. I like these buckets because they have these lids, screw on lids, you can just screw on the lid. This is a video I'm gonna be shooting. I'm gonna shoot a video on noisemakers for security. Just, uh, that's a video I've gotta get shot. Don't look at this, no one will ever see this. You, and I'm gonna, you must not see that. Uh, and then I keep Cody's uh, dog food and an extra gallon water. So the Cody's kids can dog food. And uh, that's water. So I carry five gallons in there, one gallon in there. 
I've got a five gallon jug back there uh, that I almost never fill and use because I don't need to carry that much water. But I can, sometimes I will and have to. Uh, I didn't get a pass-through. That's one thing you're probably missing. I don't know if you noticed that. Many, many ambulances have a pass-through. I didn't get one, and that was a disappointment. I wished I had, but I did not, and so that's life. I wanted everything else about this one. This, I wanted the, a Chevy diesel with the Allison transmission, specifically. Um, it's four-wheel drive, and it has very, very low miles. And it didn't come with a pass-through. Uh, it didn't come with a number of things I would have preferred to have, but that's life. That's just the way it is sometimes. Let's see. I'll just go this way. So more cabinets, more stuff. I got a lot of stuff. If you argue and say, Bob, write in and say, Bob, you got a lot of stuff. I'd say, yeah, you're right. Uh, this is actually a six-gallon bucket of, um, of emergency food, uh, a 30-day supply, uh, 2,300 calories a day. So I could easily extend that out to 45 days worth of emergency food. Okay, I guess we'll go outside and look around. Let's do that. This is a very, very tall van. Without that there, I, this is just too hard for me to get in and out of, and I'm an old guy. And so, you know, I, I wanted a good step. And over the course of my life in a, living in vehicles, I, I tried to count them, how many steps I've driven over in the whole time I've lived in a vehicle, and I gave up at 10. It, I really like that, and so that is something, if you're older and you got a really tall vehicle, this is four-wheel drive, and, and so it's really tall, uh, that's worth it. So I'll go ahead and show you inside the, all the outside storage. There's always an awful lot in these. So this is the house. The battery, the, the ambulance is completely self-supporting. It can run all of its systems off of the engine. Of course, it's a big diesel, uh, uh, big Duramax diesel. And it's got these two batteries and two batteries. It's got a total of four batteries, the two house batteries, the two starting batteries. It's got batteries all over the place. Um, and this is uh, my spare tire, of course, you can see. Um, I really like having a spare tire there. The kind that you have to drop down. This is a big, heavy tire, and they, they freeze and they rust. I really like having it here. And this is kind of all emergency stuff here. This is a tow strap to get unstuck with. Here's, here's a compressor, here's a shovel. Uh, this is a, a tire plug kit. This is kind of the, you get, you get in a big problem. This is how you get out of it area. And I just kind of stuffed it all in here because it all kind of works in, I think, in logically. And then of course you got the big back door. Um, <clears throat> Okay, and then here's a, this side has quite a few drawers, um, storage areas. This one was splints and tall things, backboards, peds. I don't know what the ped is, but just stuff uh, that I put back here. This is one of the few really open bins I had. I like uh, these. I'm using one. There are two of them. I can always have two. Uh, these are, uh, you drive up on them, and even the weight of this thing won't be any impact on it. So I have a couple of those. So this and this are going to go away. Uh, it's just stuff. Propane, the stove is right above it. The stove is right here. And so I'm going to, I haven't gotten it done yet, but I'll, I'll actually drill holes and go up to the propane so I have a tank out here. Having a tank outside is a good thing. And this is the electrical closet. Uh, Pretty standard stuff. I bought really high quality. I've got 720 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, two Battleborns. Uh, I paid for myself. The Victron. I think this is a 150 over 70. Yeah, this is a 150 over 70 amp. A uh, Xantrex inverter that runs my microwave and the toaster, no problem. This is the second Xantrex Pro Watt 2000 that I've owned. I bought the first one and owned it for 10 years, and it's still working in my old van. It's going with the old van, and it will still run the microwave like the day I bought it. it that has just been the best piece of equipment I've ever owned and bought. I've never owned one as good. Um, and then this is an, uh, a Victron Orion, Orion TR Smart, and it's a smart DC to DC converter. Cables go up to the starting batteries, and it charges well. The, uh, the, the Battleborns while I drive, and it will, it's very smart. It won't, one of the problems you run into, of course, this is that being a diesel, it has an enormous alternator, and I don't think I could ever outdraw that alternator unless there was a problem. So there you have it, that's my ambulance home. Uh, it's very sterile and um, industrial, 
and uh, but it's very, very practical, and I'm such a practical guy that that wins. But these curtains take this sterile, practical, form over function every time attitude and turns it into something that really speaks to my heart. And, and I know it won't appeal to a lot of you. You'll just look at that and think that's awful. I wouldn't do that. But it really works for me and I, it makes me very happy. So. so I'm curious, what do you think of the curtains? Is it too much? You think, okay, well, that's great for you, but I would never do that. I'd really like to know. So leave a comment below and let me know and I'll, I'll uh, give some thought to what your opinions are. I really like it. I'm not gonna change it, but I really like it. Um, so if you got anything out of this video, a whole new idea, I think, then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, 